serial killer Robert Maudsley. He spent 23 hours a day in jail in his cell at Wakefield Prison, which is effectively a glass box. He was jailed for murdering child molester John Farrell in 1974. The decision by the authorities is that he will stay in that glass box in Wakefield Jail until he dies. He's deemed so dangerous that he's no longer allowed to associate with other prisoners or even the guards. He's in a bulletproof glass box at Wakefield Jail because since his arrest and conviction for the murder, he has killed three more people inside jail. He's referred to as Hannibal the Cannibal. And let's let, let's look at that. That's based on Dr. Hannibal Lecter, who is a created character by the American novelist Thomas Harris, who basically set out that Hannibal Lecter ate his victims. And it's based on the killer, Alfredo Bali Trevino. Trevino was known as the Walkman of Nuova Leon, a former physician, a doctor, who was convicted for the murder and mutilation of his lover. He was convicted in relation to that, although he's considered to be a serial killer, he hasn't actually been convicted of other offences, but he is believed to have killed other hitchhikers in the, late, in the late 1950s and 1960s. But here's an, an incredible twist. The man goes to jail. He's released in 1980 after 20 years in jail. And guess what? He goes back to practicing as a doctor. He finally died of cancer in 2009, aged 81. But back to Morsley. Morsley's life was disturbed. He grew up in an orphanage. At age eight, he was taken to his home by his parents and suffered years of abuse. Age 16, he left home and became hooked on drugs. He then was forced into selling his body for sex and became known as what is a rent boy. And in fact, one of his victims was John Farrell, the person that he subsequently went to jail for. And that was reason because Farrell showed him pictures of him abusing a boy. So Morsley will remain in jail at Wakefield Prison for the rest of his life. 